Welcome to The Art of Living, the show that celebrates seniors who are living life to its fullest. Adventurers, artists, athletes, and much more. This program recognizes seniors who have redefined themselves and started life anew. Today, we'll present two seniors who understand the art of living. Coming up, we'll meet a senior with a keen appreciation for canine companionship and competition. And then, he's a renowned photographer sharing his unique vision of the world even after losing his eyesight. These stories and the word on the street coming up on The Art of Living. Go get it. Oh, bring it here. Bring it here. Here to me. Come on. They say dogs are man's best friend, and it couldn't be more true than our first guest, 74-year-old Jack Sharkey, noted trainer, handler, and author. Jack has long been a canine lover, but it wasn't until retirement that he discovered the Vizsla breed and became involved in competition. All right, that was a good girl. Yes, it was. I got into the dogs. Uh, I retired in, in 1998 from the federal government, set up my own company, and uh, I soon recognized I need a, another, a dog for, for a companion. Uh, we had poodles for 17 years before that, and boxers, and et cetera. And, and uh, a friend of mine had a uh, Vishla, and I really grew to love his dog. And uh, I call them the wash and wear dogs because they got short hair. They don't they don't smell. All you got to do is clip their toenails, basically. And uh, so I I wanted a, a buddy. So Jack went to a breeder and selected his first Vishla, Hunter. Nine months later. He bought Hunter a companion and named her Charte. Little did he know both dogs would prove to be record-breaking champions. Here are some of the 155 blue ribbons that my four dogs have won since uh, 1991 when they began the uh, American Kennel Club uh, competition. And as we move over here is a article on myself and his victorious uh, Vishlas. Here is a, a portrait of a uh, picture of Charte and a certificate from the American Kennel Club awarding her the only quintuple champion in the history of the 20, 122, 123 years of the, of the American Kennel Club. Remarkably, and, uh, Jack, is, uh, who had never Kennel shown or trained dogs, dogs prior to Hunter, found himself the Charté center of attention and, uh, with the extraordinary Charte. Charte uh, has, has been an incredible dog. She has been one of a kind. Uh, there isn't any question about that. There's no other dog in the history of the American Kennel Club that has accomplished what Charté has accomplished. Charté became somewhat of a celebrity and was given VIP status with American Airlines. Her winning record would pave the way for her and Jack. Being treated as a VIP where uh, we would be met at the airplane by a representative taken to the VIP center uh, on a cart and then brought back to the connecting flight after the flight has been loaded and here we come on board with this, the dog on a lead and everybody looking, this is the VIP, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's such a thrill because people would come up to me after we, we'd get on board and say, oh man, if I knew you could bring her dog on board, I'd bring my dog with me, you know. Charte and Hunter changed Jack's life. He traveled continuously with the dogs, honing their skills and competing nationwide. I have been on a high since 1990 when I bought my first Vishla. They have brought me more thrills than, than anyone could, could ask for. Recently, he published his first book, Winning Ways, to help others learn from his experiences. It, it has been very well received uh, by the people who are, are basically just getting into the sport, and even some of the people who have been in it for quite some time. And I basically wrote it for uh, the, the hunting aspects, the field and competition aspects, but I also covered uh, show, agility, and obedience. Eventually, Jack's beloved hunter and legendary Charte passed away. But the memory of their time together lives on for Jack through his new Vizslas, Lady Brinkley and Huntley. 
what ranking do the dogs hold in my house in my household well let me tell you my son and daughter who are now uh, uh, well grown say dad you love the dogs more than you love us and i said no 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 when you kids were growing up i said i loved you both very much now you're out and on your own i said i have my dogs and i love my dogs very much these days jack is training again and competing year-round with his new pals. Having already won the National Derby and the National Gun Dog Competition, he has high hopes for Lady Brinkley's third win this year in the National Field Competition. No dog has yet won all three, which would make her the first trifecta winner. Now we're just gonna go down and we're gonna plant a pigeon. And what we're doing, we're not hurting them at all. We're putting, putting them to sleep by putting your head under the, under the wing. We, you put them asleep by just wheel them around like this, okay, very slowly. You take their feet, push them down in, and you pull their legs out and collapse the lungs a little bit. You leave them go, and they'll sit right there. Jack's advice for anyone looking to get into dog competition is to first consider the type of competition you wish to compete in, and then study the different breeds inclined toward those skills needed. Lastly, but foremost, is to consider what type of dog you would like as a companion. Ultimately, competing is only 10% of the time you spend with your dog, while the other 90% is good old companionship. All right, all right. It's just a thrill. And uh, for me to have come upon this as my hobby after retirement has just been something unreal. But I love every minute of it. All right, we had a good time, huh? Did you have a good time today, huh? Was this a good day? Yes, it was a good day, all right. When we come